And so for my summer of yes, I wanted to take my family on a little road trip to remember what it's like to commune with nature and also to reconnect with some of my fondest childhood memories. Off we go to our camping adventure, like our ride. How does it look? Oh, whoa. Sadly, I haven't spent a lot of time outdoors since I moved to New York. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. It's just like riding a bike. I feel like the disconnect and I miss it. Safety first. Now if we could just figure out how to put it into drive. It's okay if you drive now. And we're off. <laughs> you guys hanging on back there? So I wanted to go camping because it's all we ever did growing up. And as long as I live, those will be some of my fondest memories. So we head off to make some more memories out of the big city in a 35-foot behemoth toward New York's Harriman State Park. It was sad when that great ship went down, hit the bottom. Getting there is half the fun, sort of. Where are we going to be there? Um, we just started. Did you bring any wine? No. That was a mistake. What kind of wine do you want? There's something earthy that's going to go with the berries and nuts that you forage. <laughs> Tequila it is. This thing practically drives itself. All right, now floor it. Look how pretty this is, guys. Wow! And there's just something about being in the woods, by the water, under the sun, in the dirt. This is like soul renewing. Mama, look at the woods! Hey guys, welcome to the woods. I'm Dave. Our guide, Dave DeCherbo, owner of Destination Backcountry Adventures, teaches city folk how to tame the wild. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah! yeah. Are we gonna survive the night? Yeah! Uh, you ready? We should. Right. Okay. It's as big as you are. It is. All right. Lucky for us, Dave hasn't lost a client yet. Our first order of business? find shelter. Our wilderness background is very brief. We're, we're <laughs> sort of in our first few hours of it. Very slim. I can change the stick to this one. Yeah, wow. that's a better one. But we're learning lots. Ew! <laughs> like the fact that when you're four, <clears throat> Whoa. everything is fascinating. I see a bug. He's so tiny. And takes a while. Keep going. Jared's coming? All right, let's go. Thatch, you coming? Oh my gosh. How do you raise happy children? You have to make all these deposits. I want to hold your hand. There you go, babe. This is a huge deposit. What are you looking for out here? Snakes, bears, dragon, worms. You know, having fun with mom and dad, with each other, having a sense of adventure. Something took that down. Do you guys want to see what it would take to yeah. make it from a hole into a shelter? All right. We also learn if you were stuck in the wilderness without gear, wow. let's find some sticks. A downed tree makes the perfect shelter, and my kids are master builders. Nicely Beautiful. done, guys. I found a big one. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, that that's amazing. awesome. Who wants to sleep in here tonight? Not me. If we got stuck out in the wilderness and actually had to survive on our own, there is zero doubt in my mind you would survive. I w I'd be a goner. I you'd be tapping the trees for maple syrup, and I'd be like, where is the Chardonnay? <laughs> I'd do the fishing. I'd build the hut. You'd yeah. probably pick out where the hut goes. I would decorate nice the hut. Nice view. Yeah. Doug ultimately does provide a roof over our heads. Nice. We have, we have a home. <laughs> but I add a little spark. Hey. Whoa, fire! I made fire! Yeah. My memories of growing up, and the reason that the camping experience means something to me, are of my dad playing his guitar around the campfire. West Virginia. Singing John Denver, and all of us dancing. And so, I can't play the guitar very well, I can't sing very well, but I don't care. I want to do it for my kids, and I want them to have that baked into their souls the way I have it baked into mine. And it was everything I hoped it would be, although I'm not sure Doug is going to recover. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Wait a second, did you really make a fire on like the first strike of yeah. that thing? I made fire. Wow. I did it with this little magnesium stick. And uh, I have to tell you, it got a little dicey because it, first of all, it almost started to rain and we considered making a run for it when we saw a little rain come down. And then we found out the next day that there was a bear on our campsite the morning after, and our guide Dave had to chase it out of the campsite. Oh. So uh, thankfully, we managed to live through all of those things. Well, Megan, we didn't know you could play the guitar. You know, oh. I like to play the guitar, so if you like depressing chick music, let's take it on the road, sister. Wow. 
I think I think you've assumed too much to actually say I could play the guitar is really giving me more credit. Although John Rich, the country western singer, gave me that guitar, a Gibson guitar, with my name and mother wow. of pearl on I the mean, neck, come on. long time ago, which raises expectations to a level that cannot be sustained. Yeah. Right. New sisters touring Who's coffee houses <laughs> this summer. Megan, it was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good trip. Thanks, guys. All right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.